today I'm going to pick up my kids and have them for the whole weekend, both of them. And the last few times I've had them, it's actually been just my daughter on her own or my son on his own. They're getting to that age now where they're making plans with their friends and that usually trumps time with dad. So whatever time I can get with either of them or both of them together, I really appreciate and we always have a good time. So uh, it's not that, it's just that when we're a teenager and a preteen, those are important things to be with their friends. So I remember that many years ago. So on the way out to get them, I'll run a few errands like I usually do. I'll do my laundry, and I have it all packed and ready to go. I will get some groceries. I have to keep them well fed while they're here. And uh, I have to go pay a bill at the office. It is for actually for all the material I purchased for the holding tank upgrade. And a viewer asked a good question, which I should have put into the video, was uh, what is the cost? Uh, that I incurred to do that upgrade. So it was, to break it down, it was about $170 for the macerator pump. It was about $35 for each uh, Y valve, and I had two of those. The rigid hose that you saw, the sanitation hose, was about $3 a foot, and I had about 10 feet of that. And the tiger hose was closer to $5 a foot, and I think I bought four feet of that. Uh, there's some C-clamps and some cleaning supplies. Uh, so I totaled sort of everything up and it was about $320 total. So not too expensive for an upgrade that was well worth doing, I think. And as I mentioned in the other video too, I still have to do the uh, other half of that once I'm up on the hard, which is replacing the head and, and a few more hoses I imagine at that point and uh, I'm gonna replace a through hull fitting as well uh, while I'm on the hard that's why I'm waiting to do that uh, second half of the upgrade so it's been amazing weather here on the west coast of Canada for the middle of February the flowers are in bloom and the Sun is out and it's usually in double digits it was uh, almost 16 degrees last week on one of the days so I hope to get the kids out and doing something fun outside. So we will see what we can get up to and uh, bring you guys along for it. Okay, go ahead. So the rule in my car is that whoever sits in the back seat gets to control the music. So it's always a fight to get into the back seat because they both like their music. And right now, we're just getting ready to go to the Richmond Oval. And they're both in the back seat. <laughs> I'm buckled in. No! Ow! I'm buckled in. Give me your CD! Maybe we'll just listen to my music tonight. Ow! And they can both sit back there. So up. they've come to an agreement. Ow! Tate will get the front, and Shay will get her music. And I think they're happy. The Richmond Oval was originally built for the 2010 Winter Olympics that were held here in Vancouver, British Columbia. And it was configured with a speed skating rink inside. And it has since been reconfigured to be a large sports park, which has two ice rinks, two running tracks, a climbing wall, and a large flexible area which you can uh, use for pretty much any sport you can imagine. And there's also a large training area up on the mezzanine. 